So I guess we'll get started. I got a few things to show you, a new collection. We finished up some samples. We got some fat quarter bundles, some new kits. Um, so let's get started with some fall. I know it's still super hot outside, but fall is right around the corner. So we just got this collection in. Um, it's 19 fabrics and a panel. It is from Michael Miller. It is called Harvest Farms. Yeah. Yes, because Harvest Wishes is the other fall collection because we had to name things similar. Um, so this whole collection, we have some fat quarter bundles. That includes the panel as well. So here is the panel. It's more classic fall, red truck. You got your barn, a silo, and pumpkins. Just turn my screen. Just turn that so I can see. Right there. There's... Oh my gosh. I have an assistant who's not very good. So this is it. Super, super cute. And then these are the fabrics that go with it. There's some really adorable sunflowers. Like I said, I don't have a very good assistant today. Really cute sunflowers. I think this is probably one of the favorite prints in this collection. So it's basically like a scenic of that same panel. Super cute. We got some extra bolts of this. So if you wanted to use this as the backing of something, it would be really good. Um, we will have a sample very soon. We're going to use the panel and one of our panel patterns that we have to make a super easy quilt. They do have a free pattern on the Michael Miller website. I have not seen it available yet, but as soon as that's available, I will make sure I link it in with this collection. But this is ready to order. There's some blenders, some plaids with it. There's some more like wine colored pumpkins in there as well. So we just got this in. So if this is more up your alley in this fall colors, then that's there for you. Um, for those who like maybe like a blue and white fall, you probably remember our Harvest Witches collection. So this has the two panels um, and 23 fabrics that go with it. This is the blue and white. We made a little sample. Super cute. Really simple. We use the blue panel and then you could just pick some fat quarters for all of the borders and super simple, quick, easy finish. Again, so there's the blue panel. There's also the cream panel. Same exact thing, just a cream background as well. So we got that sample finished up. So if you need a little inspiration, we have that. And these are some of the patterns that go with the collection. Again, these are all linked on the website as well. This is the first one. Super cute. I love fall uses the uh, panel. It's 42 by 50 wall lap quilt. Not very big. Pumpkin kisses. A little bit bigger. 60 by 84. Super cute. Lots of pumpkins. Autumn skies. So you could do a table runner, a lap size, a twin with this pattern. And then the last one. Harvest time, 55 by 75. So good lap size. So we have all of these patterns available online and in store. So if you like this collection, we have these patterns available. We have one of the, what the sample is. We have one. We have one. Yeah. yeah. And so that pattern that is the sample, we have one of those, but it's super simple. Just do a little half square triangles around the edge. Um, Next thing, if you didn't see this collection when it first came in, this is another like baby and kid um, delivered with love. Super cute. So we made a little sample. Here is some of our little fat quarter bundles. So there's like stars, blue, white, you know, there's adorable elephants. Super cute. 
So we grabbed some of them. This did come with a panel. So if you, again, like panels, this is the one where you could stick your baby in the middle, circle the month, the day, the year, and do this photo kind of Instagram style. Um, what we did is we took all of these blenders and we used Turning 20 again. This is my mom's absolute favorite pattern. She will do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. Great pattern. And um, the cool thing about Turning 20, the more fabric you have, the bigger it is. It's really simple. You just pick 20 fat quarters. You can make a twin size. But we did nine and we made this. Look how cute. So there's nine blocks. We added two borders, and then on the back of the binding, we used the Star speckled slide back. So cute. Super quick finish with this turning 20. You just come pick some fat quarters that you like. Honestly, they always look good. The more you have, the more variety you're going to have in the quilt. But if you want it simple, you could add in more of like a true blender um, versus some of these stars and stuff if you didn't want it quite as busy. Um, you could add more borders, make it a little bit bigger. But great quick easy baby quilt if you're looking for a gift this is really a, a fast finish you could do this in a day so we have that we have some of those panels these are two patterns by wendy shepherd so this one again it goes with the elephants that are already in the um in the print basically you need eight fat quarters of background fabric and then two other fat quarters to do other accent colors but super cute there's some photos of this colorized with that fabric so if you need a little visual of what it will look like and then the other one is duckling duckling go again wendy shepherd super cute super simple and then you have some piece of ducks um some fat quarters will get you most of this done so that's something that we finished up this week well that finished up this week for samples. Um, what else? Another table runner sample. Oh, yes. Thanks to a, our, our friend Amy and Carrie for making some really pretty kits. Amy made this sample. This pattern is really cool because you can do a table runner. You can also make it um, quilt side. So this is the pattern. Starline, Rachel Rossi. It is intermediate, um, so you can do a, a runner, a throw, a twin, or a queen with this pattern. So she made this cute art gallery table runner. So this is kind of the main portion of that quilt. She did this without the template, so you can do it without the template. But we do have templates as well. And I'll just make things a little bit easier. But there's a template included in the pattern. So we have this. Super cute. You can do a table runner. And we kitted out some kits if you wanted to make something a little bit bigger. So this one is Fairy Frost. So we have icing and then it's the yellow, green, and blue Fairy Frost. I guess there's a little bit of a glare. Can you see it? There we go. And then we did do one in Deco Stitch. So again, you have like a cream colored background and some soft pastels. And I do have another color way of this is more of like a New Mexico deeper Southwest color way as well. And those are on the website. If you just type in Starline, it'll pop right up with a kit. And you can see the three kits that we have available to make a quilt size. But you can always come in and pick and make yourself a really cute table runner, especially with some of these florals like this fall one. Any of the fall fabric, Christmas fabric, this would be a really good table runner um, and, and that. And then we have legit kits. We added more kits. <laughs> so we basically have everything now. So we have our little Kona corner over here behind me in the back. So if you haven't walked to the back where all the basics and blenders are, we have our little Kona corner this way. There's also the legit kits. There's a whole rack of them in front. So we got some new patterns. Of course, we had the Cardinal one, Leo the Lion. Again, these are foundation paper pieces. These are the patterns. So you can get all the papers in them. So it has all the papers. They're pretty big. Some of them are 60 by 80. Some are a little bit smaller, like the Cardinal's a little bit smaller, 30 by 40, so a little bit smaller. But just keep in mind, as they get smaller, the pieces get a little bit smaller as well. You want to talk about the complexity or how hard they are like that 
Like yes. The cardinal is medium, right? Yeah, the cardinal is medium. It's smaller. It's only 30 by 40 if you compare that to 60 by 80. So these are both medium patterns. Um, you're talking 1,300 pieces here. This one doesn't have pieces on it. But this one does have pieces, so you can see. The cool thing about Legit Kits, your blocks are basically this size. They're about the size of a sheet of paper. So all of your blocks are the same size. What gets challenging is when you get into the eyes of animals or the small details, that's what's going to make this pattern more diff difficult than, let's say, oh, let me grab an easy one. Then, like, the fox is an easy one. So if you look at, like, the eye size, so the eyes are going to be a little bit bigger here. So this is not as difficult as this. These are the same size finished. This one's going to be a little bit more challenging. Then you're talking flamingos, even more difficult. So they are um, labeled based off diffic difficultness. It's really based off the size of the pieces that you get when you get to the foundation pieces. Um, the nice thing about these, there are no Y seams. So as long as you can sew a straight line, you can make these kits. They're really easy to follow. You basically work through the pattern. It's going to give you all of the instructions. There's tons of video support. Um, there's Facebook pages that people post all kinds of good tips to organize all of your fabric because these do contain a lot of colors, which is why we added the Kona. The skull one has about 170 colors. I mean, if you're talking Toasty the Dragon is really cool, but you need lots of oranges. So you need to have lots of range, but then you have to be able to keep up with all of this fabric. We do have fat quarters of all of the colors that we have in right now. You can do a fat quarter basically all the way up. And some of these take small pieces. So if you're doing more than one kit, it's really a good idea to keep your fabric, keep it really super organized, get like an accordion folder, have it labeled. Um, and of course these always come labeled just like all of our other blenders with stickers and they come with a legit kits code. They have their own coding system for all of the Kona. So if you order online, these will come labeled with your code as well. So there's a whole bunch of patterns. You can see them all on the website. If you go into kits, you'll see legit kits as a tab. You can check them all out. Do you have any questions? No? Um, we added patterned jackets. So the Tamarack jacket, if you've been to a quilt show in the last year, I would say, you've probably seen somebody with a quilted coat. So we have some patterns. There's two different sizes, so 0 to 18. And then this one's 14 to 30, so there's two sizes. So make sure if you're ordering online or coming to the store, make sure we're picking a size that works with you. Um, but you could take this and take a quilt. Maybe you have a quilt that you didn't love as a quilt. Turn it into a jacket, and then you get to walk around all toasty and, and bundled up. Um, so we got these in to make all of your quilted needs, you know. Now's the time to get ready for the winter because it's right around the corner. We got lots of Christmas stuff in as well. With our Christmas, we just got this new collection in from Ruby Star. This is the Winter Low Glow. It is a collaborative collection, so it's all of the Ruby Star designers. But let me pull some of these back for you. There's like some little, I guess they're doves. It is Partridges? one. Partridges? Doves? But these are really cute. They're little skiers. Oh, we're getting close. Little skiers. So there's a few. There's some prints in here. Lots of colors. There's another ski print. This is really pretty ruby star. Look at the cute little owl and squirrels and stuff in there. Some nice kind of like almost tone on tones. There's your, there's your real skiers with a snowy background. So we have some fat quarter bundles of this available as well. Can you talk about Friday night, what we did? Yeah, so Friday night, last Friday, we did our first sip and sew. We did our sew I wine at Firefly Cellar, so it's just up the road from us. We did it Friday afternoon. We had lots of fun, lots of new people learned how to applicate for the first time. Um, so it was a lot of fun. We are going to kind of continue that sip and sew. And the next one we're doing is going to be on the 30th of Ju July. It's like, yeah. it's July. The 30th and that's gonna be more of an open so bring your own project um, any hand project so don't bring your machine but if you crochet knit cross stitch 
anything. Make friendship bracelets. You can color. Come and hang out. It's $30. It also includes a glass of wine. So you can come and work on any project. Share something you create. So if you're like an incredible crocheter, I know Caitlin wants to learn how to crochet. Come and teach her. Um, if you knit, we, we would love to learn how to knit. Uh, we don't know how to do that. So that'll be really fun. If you like to do English paper piecing, come bring your projects, hang out, chit chat, sip and stitch. Meet new people. That is the best thing about it. Um, and then in August, this is going to be our first like jumping in, really jumping into the art quilting world. At Firefly Sellers again in August, it's the 20th, so it's going to be a Sunday. We are going to do a fabric planning class. Um, I posted a photo of kind of like an inspiration of what it will be like. It's going to be a series, so we're going to do different mediums. We're going to do different projects over a few months. So the first one, our plan is to do something fall themed, and I think we're going to do colored pencils. Um, really fun. Try something new. We're going to try something new. I'm, I'm not a coloring person, so this will be interesting. I've done a few paint and sips and they, uh, don't turn out that great. They're kind of flat. So I'm hoping maybe fabric painting will be the way to go. Um, but that'll be really fun. Who's teaching it again? Clorinda. Clorinda. So if we were, when you, when we were in Greenville, we got to see her parrot. So we posted some of those photos. So if you go back into Facebook and you go into the Greenville, you can see the parrot she painted. I believe it, she may have it back um, by the time of the class. And if she does, she will absolutely bring that. She has a few other things that she's going to bring and show. Um, but that'll be a lot of fun. That is on the website. You can sign up. Um, same kind of setup as our sip and sew. Come, you'll get a glass of wine, you'll learn how to paint, you will probably get most of it finished. If not, you'll learn the technique, and then you can go home and finish it. You could turn it into a shadow box, you could uh, kind of decoupage it onto like a canvas. So there'll be lots of fun things to do with that turn into a pillow, but that'll be in August. Yeah. And then you're traveling next week. And then we're traveling. Megan and I are uh, going to Ohio for a quilt show. So if you are in Ohio, if you're in the area um and you're looking for something to do next weekend there is a quilt show it's in uh worcester i believe i'm worcester worcester, yeah. worcester i think i'm pronouncing it correctly let me know if i'm not um so megan and i are going to be at that show please stop by we'd love to meet you um for all of our ohio people and you're planning on going to the show if you want to order online we have to pack up a truck anyways um you can order put a little note like hey bring to the show and we can bring you something to the show Save you, save you on shipping. We're driving there anyways. We'll have some space. But yeah, come visit. It's free entry for the show. There's some cool classes. Um, so you can check it out. There's information on the website. If you go into the calendar on our website, you can see the name of it. Look it up. Um, we've also posted it a few times. So we'll make sure we repost information about that show. And that's our most recent show. Yeah. That's everything right now. If you don't keep up with the calendar, I'm constantly adding new stuff. So make sure you check the calendar every once in a while. We'll add new um, events, Saturday samplers, all of that stuff runs through our calendar on the website. I keep that pretty up to date as well as any opening and closings. If anything happens, we'll make sure we, we post that there as well. And we're still coordinating for other yes. art quilting classes. We have we lots of other things, work other, in progress. Yeah. So definitely keep your eye out for that calendar as we add more events. I know we've had a few requests to do another t-shirt quilting class. So if we can get that on the schedule. And a beginner class. A beginner class. class in the evening. Yeah, we may do a beginner class as well. So if you have some friends who are looking to learn how to quilt, if they know how to sew, they have a machine, we are hoping to get a beginner class on the schedule as well. Do a really simple pattern with one of the Fabric Cafe three yard quilt kits. But that is something, if you, have, if you know somebody who's looking to get into the quilting world, we are going to have a beginner's quilting class. We're going to hopefully get it on the schedule for next month, probably in the evening, similar to our t-shirt quilting class in the evening, since it is still light out um, till about 7.30, 8 o'clock. We don't have to worry about driving back in the dark. But yeah, if you have any other questions of things, um, let me know. Get signed up for the sip and sew that's on the 30th. 
the fabric painting on the 20th. Come visit us in Ohio. What? Oh, how could I forget? Um, if you don't peruse our website, if you come shop in person, you probably don't go on the website very often. You should. You should because I have been putting out fabric that's coming soon. There's a whole coming soon category. If you go into that, you can see all of the fabric that's coming. And I'm adding more. I'm going to probably add another collection or two um, by the end of this week. So keep your eye out. We're taking pre-orders. So if there's something on there that you know you're going to want some, uh, definitely jump on it just based off the way some of our collections have sold in the past. If you don't get it right away, it doesn't last very long. If you remember our Shell Rumble collection, um, last fall, E-Bond, e last fall, they're both coming out with a new collection. I can guarantee you that it's not going to last very long. Marsha Durst is coming out with a new collection as well. I believe it comes out next month. That's not going to last very long as well. So definitely take a look. We're, we're constantly adding new things to the website to keep it uh, fun and fresh. So that's it. Have a great week. We're going to go clean up and put all this fabric back where it belongs. <laughs> and